Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and this is our NFL show. Um, we're going to be talking about Thursday night football, November 7th, uh, Ravens versus Bengals um, playing in Baltimore. This one should be awesome. Uh, 53 and a half point over under. So this should be fireworks just like it was last time they matched up. Uh, we have four plays for you. Um, and just a heads up, we are not going to be doing a late night video for our NBA picks. It's just a three game slate tomorrow. And so it's going to take the board forever to update. So we're just going to get a, a daily show out early for you tomorrow. Um, so yeah, uh, before we break into our plays, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, we'd like to let you guys know uh, when we're doing the research because we drop the video immediately after. So you'll get a little heads up if you're subscribed, you have the notifications on. Um, if you guys don't mind, do us a favor and like the video. You guys have been killing it. Uh, we really appreciate the support. You're helping us grow and uh, that really means a lot to us. So um, thank you so much for that. Um, all right, well, uh, yeah, so we're, we're still running the promo with Parlay Play. If you haven't signed up for Parlay Play yet, um, use code BACKDOOR, that's the most important part. Uh, if you don't use the code, you won't get the full um, promo. Um, but what they're gonna do at Parlay Play is give you 100% deposit match up to $100 plus a $5 promo slip. So you make your first slip, you know, for five bucks with promo on top of the deposit match. And then uh, if you lock that code in, uh, code BACKDOOR, we're gonna give you 30 days in our premium Discord on top of that. Um, so that's just a deal we're running with Parlay Play. If you guys wanna take advantage of that, um, just make sure you use that code and then uh, email us at bdfantasysports at gmail.com and um, let us know you use the code and uh, you just give us your username for Parlay Play and for Discord. And then it takes 24 hours for us to confirm with Parlay Play that the code was used. And then, um, yeah, then we'll just get you in to uh, our Discord. Um, we're also partnered with Underdog. So if you haven't signed up for Underdog yet, use code BACKDOOR for Underdog. They're going to give you up to $1,000 in bonus cash, plus a free pick to help you cash your first slip. There's a link in the description for all of our uh, partners if you guys want to sign up for any of those platforms. So these are the plays we're going to be rolling with. Uh, I'm going to be just taking Lamar Jackson's fantasy score over 22 and a half. I've got some pivots if you don't want to take the fantasy score. Um, there's multiple things I like, but um, all, all things lead to his fantasy score for this matchup, in my opinion. Um, and then my other play is going to be Mike Gesicki, uh, over 52 and a half receiving yards on parlay play. On underdog, what are we getting it at here? 49 and a half. Best, best bargain for sure uh, is on underdog. And then we're going 53 and a half, which is the most expensive, I believe, or is that the same as parlay play? Uh, no, 52. So yeah, I still like this to go over, uh, but yeah, it's the most expensive on prize picks. Uh, but I like I like these to go over regardless. Um, what are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, so I'm going to be going with um, uh, Joe Burrow over 24 and a half pass completions. Uh, I feel really good about this line. And I'm taking Deontay Johnson over three and a half receiving targets. Uh, we're getting all of these on all the platforms. Um, let me look up Burrow again. Looks like he may have gotten taken away on parlay play. Nope, there it is. They actually have a 23 and a half for a 1.73x. So getting a whole point discount if you want the 1.4, uh, it's there at 1.85x. But I'm going to roll the 23.5 because I think that's just a, a really good deal for 1.73x. So that's the value you get over here on... Uh, uh, parlay play and also we're getting Deontay Johnson's receiving targets um, the same and uh, yeah the underdog was the one I was pretty stoked about receptions at 1.5 for Deontay Johnson so a couple little different discounts on different platforms that's why it's fun to mix it up but uh, those are going to be is. the two I'm rolling with yeah man we've been having a blast um, covering parlay play yeah. uh, mixing it in uh, at first we were kind of like man three platforms at once for the videos but it fit right in and it's been a lot of fun um all right so uh let's start breaking down the plays uh who i have up here first we've got lamar jackson up first um so yeah i'm gonna take the whole fantasy score because the dude's been playing mvp ball he's been killing it uh he's cleared the seven out of ten games but then when you look at last time that he played cincinnati 34.42 points it is just a, an amazing matchup. Both of these defenses are pass funnel defenses. 
Both of these offenses are very capable. That's why I was talking about it in the Discord. You know, we got that Derrick Henry taco, and it just makes me a little bit nervous. I still threw it in a slip. I put like 15 bucks on it, but I, I'm, I, won't, I, I told our Discord community I won't be shocked if it hits because it's Derrick Henry. I also won't be shocked if it doesn't hit because this last game when they played Cincinnati, if you recall, uh, Derrick Henry didn't cash his rushing yards until overtime. Um, it was just, you know, and I, I think that that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the case this time around. Um, but, you know, that was a really pass heavy game because it was just an absolute shootout. Neither of these defenses could stop the, the opposing offense. And um, Justice Hill was heavily worked in, which we haven't seen as much of lately. So there's also the narrative where I think the Ravens could try to slow the pace of this, this game down by running the ball. But uh, overall, I was telling Jordy earlier, if I were the Bengals and I won the coin toss, I would want the ball first because they want to set that pace and make the Ravens chase them uh, the whole way. Um, so all that being said, I think regardless of the situation, uh, 53 and a half points, the Ravens need at least four touchdowns in this game. And Lamar Jackson, I, I don't think this, you know, last time they played, Derrick Henry got that touchdown uh, in overtime as well. So um, there, he Henry had like 15, 14 or 15 rush attempts in that game when he's usually well over 20 uh, rush attempts per game. So I think that Lamar is going to be pass heavy. And uh, there's also the upside of him getting into the end zone himself, you know, um, and sometimes uh, like we've seen, uh, even when they're like on the five yard line, uh, they run the RPO and then they're, the opposing team so distracted and they just hit one of their tight ends. We see a lot of a lot of that. So I like Lamar. I think Lamar is going to have to go for at least three touchdowns in this. Um, and then uh, I think best case scenario for Derrick Henry, he gets in the end zone twice, um, but that's still not going to be enough to beat the Bengals in this game. So um, I'm expecting really high scoring game tomorrow. And um, I think Lamar is going to have to be a part of that. If you don't like the fantasy score, you can go with uh, his touchdowns. 1.5 is great. Um, uh, he's, oh wait, let me see. That's just that's just rushing touchdowns, passing touchdowns. I was like, I swear this was great. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the passing touchdowns too, if you want like a pivot. Um, but I mean, to me, I want the rushing upside. He went for 55 rushing yards last time they played um, and he went for like 348 passing yards uh it was just an absolute crazy game um if we take a look here yeah so 55 rushing yards 348 passing yards and that doesn't mean that that's exactly what he's going to do again um but he's usually good for 40 rushing yards at least and uh yeah he's just been absolutely balling so i'm just i'm i'm going what i consider the safe route and i'm just going to be attached to just about every scenario the only way this doesn't happen is if derrick henry does all the scoring like three touchdowns still wouldn't be enough to beat the Bengals. so i just think he has to he has to have a, a big game and he's playing lights out but the matchup for passing yards and rushing yards is uh pretty middle of the road 17th and passing yards allowed uh 18th and rushing yards allowed so everything about this matchup I love for Lamar. And I mean, they're pretty, I mean, it doesn't really matter who they're playing. They're, they're playing amazing ball right now. Uh, if we hop over to Daily Grind, they like his rushing attempts the best. Um, so that's an option if you want to take it. Um, every platform has it juice to go over. I don't really want that uh, just in case it's just like a super pass heavy game. Um, Lamar is great with scrambling and everything, but um, but yeah, I'm going fantasy score. But if you uh, take a look at um, the passing touchdowns too, they've got that favor to go over 51.26% odds to hit the over minus 124. Every platform's favoring that to go over um, uh, pretty much. Uh, and then the fantasy score, they, they don't like it at 22 and a half. Um, it's just barely juiced to the under 50.99% odds to hit the under. Um, and it's probably just because it's the most expensive on prize picks at 22 and a half flat. Uh, but I'm, I'm just, that's what I'm going with. So there are plenty of pivots uh, for, for Lamar if you don't want the fantasy score, but that's what I'm rolling. Uh, and then let's talk about Gasicki here who's been uh, popping off. Oh, geez. Yeah, so T. Higgins is doubtful too. That's even better for this case. Gesicki is awesome. Uh, super athletic. Uh, I think we talked, I, I talked about him on the waiver wire show for the Fantasy Football Podcast. 
Um, the dude's, yeah, super athletic ex-basketball player, um, was super underutilized in Miami and, uh, he's heating up with the Bengals and he's like taken over as the guy, uh, when it comes to, uh, the tight end position for the Bengals and he plays Bengals type of, uh, football, you know, uh, very fast. Uh, most of his catches are for, uh, a pretty, uh, you know, a decent amount of yards. Um, good with yards after the catch, uh, good at contested catches, like, uh, can get in the end zone. So this dude's a stud. Um, uh, the 30th, uh, they're 30th in uh, receiving yards allowed to tight ends um, and 32nd overall. So like I was saying, this is just going to be a total shootout. Um, so yeah, I love these receiving yards to go over back to back weeks up against Philly. He put up 73 yards and then against Las Vegas, he went for 100 yards. Um, uh, target share. 11% target share, uh, 3.9 targets a game is what he's averaging on the season. But it's, uh, I don't think I can, uh, actually that's the last 10. Let's go straight up. Wish I could narrow it down to just these two, but I guess I, I sort of can. Yeah, so he had eight targets um, in that game against Philly and then six targets, but he's, he's you know, I, I like the yards better than the, tar the targets and uh, receptions just in general because like i said uh he's he's usually his what's his average yard per reception 8.7 um i feel like that's hard to judge because they're it's also basing it off of some of these games where he did nothing um the, mo more recently he's averaged a lot more than that uh but anyways i'm super high on this play i think this dude's gonna play great um let's take a look here um, and then they don't like the optimizer does not like the receiving yards on prize picks because it's the most expensive 53 and a half, uh, 52.01% odds to hit the under. Um, and it's because some of these other platforms, uh, like we're getting on underdog is down at 49 and a half. That doesn't really make a difference to me, to be honest. Um, they like his longest reception to go over in uh, the 19 and a half. And that kind of speaks a little bit to what I was saying about his yards per reception lately have just been much higher. So I, I'd like him to go over that. I think he's gonna be at least knocking on the door of 70 yards in this game with the way this shootout's gonna go. So, uh, and T Higgins being out, it's it's gonna be, it's gonna be solid. Um, so yeah, that covers my plays. You guys wanna check out um, Outlier. This is a killer app. I talk about it every episode because uh, we use this for everything. We use it for football, baseball, basketball. Um, it's awesome. They cover matchups, injury reports, uh, insights about the players um, that are available in the game. And then it points you in the direction of the prop that it's related to. Um, so it's pretty sweet. So if you guys want to try this out, um, they're going to give you a seven day free trial. Uh, just go through the link in the description of the video and uh, they'll just let you try it out free for a week. All right, Jordy. All right. Yeah, I was actually uh, watching a video today on these guys breaking down how um, the Bengals basically just use Gusecki like T Higgins when Higgins is out. So love that narrative around that play for sure. And it correlates with my first play of <laughs> Joe Burrow over 24 and a half passing completions. I love this line. Um, if you look at the head to heads, he's had two shootout games against Baltimore, um, 27 pass completions in one. And that most recent crazy overtime game we saw, he had 30 pass completions in that game um, on uh, only 39 pass attempts. So insanely clean game from Joe Burrow in that game. Um, and this is a pass funnel defense. So 19th in pass completion percentage against opposing quarterbacks and 30th in pass attempts. Um, the pass attempts are super inflated for this game, 35 and a half. I don't really want to go anywhere near that, but the 24 and a half line, I think he'll get to 30 or 33 pass completions. I just don't like 35 is really high. They're going to have to be like down by a ton and there's, it's just a little sketchy. So I do like 24 and a half. I think that line is really uh, a good line. So for a game like this where they're going to be throwing it a lot, I do like the 24 and a half. So I'm going to be taking this one for the over. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot to go off of because this is a unique matchup. So he's only gone over this 24 line four out of the nine games this year. This is obviously very inflated because this over under is like a 53 and a half or something. So they're going to they are expecting a very heavy passing game from Burrow. So when he went for 30 pass completions in the last game on 39 attempts, they're expecting this to be a similar outcome. So so am I. I like this play a lot. Even with that being said, there's some of these other matchups like Washington, he went for 29, 
Billy, he went for uh, 26. That's another pass funnel defense. Um, and they were down 37 to 17 in that game. So they're getting torched and they still, he still hit this. So, um, <clears throat> God forbid they get blown out. I still like him to get this done. Cause I think he can get enough passes off in that amount of time. Um, you know, to get this done. I don't think it's going to be a blowout though. I think it's going to be a very tight race the whole way. Um, I think it'll come down to like whoever gets the ball last, to be honest. But, um, that's my narrative. Hopefully I'm right. Um, <clears throat> And uh, when it comes to daily grind, they do not agree with me. This is a minus 122 to go under and a 51.11% chance. So if you don't like it, you don't have to take it, but I'm rolling it. Um, it's heavily favored to go over at 23 and a half. So um, 24 and a half does not scare me very much. We're getting it at 23 and a half on parlay play. So that's dope. Um, for almost a full multiplier, we're just missing like the uh, 0.3x to not have a full multiplier on that one. So really, really good discount over there. Um, and then my next play is going to be Deontay Johnson for over three and a half receiving targets. He has a two reception line. I just like him to get targeted a whole bunch in this game. I mean, they haven't really gotten him involved too much yet. In that last game against Denver, he didn't have any targets um, for any receptions, but he was in on 20% of the passing plays or on only 20 passing plays. Um, so I don't know if this is showing me exactly what I'm looking for here. Um, not really sure, but, uh, it's saying he had zero receptions for zero targets and he was only in on 20 passing plays. That might be right because they blew out Denver and they probably, I mean, that was his first week there. He's going to be heavily involved. They wouldn't have traded for him otherwise. So I think he'll get involved. I think this is going to be his coming out game. Um, 22nd in receptions allowed. Um, so you know, we're looking at a reception line here at two because they're not showing me the targets. So we're just going to do a little bit of diving here. But, um, you know, we don't really know what his target share is going to look like yet. But I like the idea of him getting targeted over three and a half times. I think the game script fits that narrative. 21st in receptions allowed. I think they're going to be targeting all these receivers. They went and traded for him for a reason. I think he's going to be their midfield guy, like a Keenan Allen type player where he's just eating up the middle of the field, getting them first downs. So if you like the receptions at two, I like them too. I just think the targets is a little bit safer. I think he's going to get targeted plenty of times in this game, um, especially with Zay Flowers still being a little hobbled. He didn't look hobbled at all in that last game, so I think he's just fine. But it always just helps to take the pressure off of him, and it gets him more open, right? So the reception line, I like. I like the targets just a little bit more. Um, so go with your gut on whichever one you want to take. If you don't like this play at all and you don't think Deontay Johnson is going to do anything, you can fade this entirely. But um, I think all his lines are way too low. It's crazy. For how good of a player Deontay Johnson is, these are too low. So especially with how Lamar is throwing the ball this year, he's just been a sniper. So um, really like this line for over three and a half targets. Um, Daily Grind, again, does not agree with me, but I think that's because they don't even have this on here. Let me check. Um see if they have it up there now uh targets uh it's a 50 50 minus 128 for the over minus 128 for the under so go with your gut on this one entirely his receptions are juiced uh just ever so slightly to go under i just don't see a world where he doesn't get over two receptions and over three and a half targets i just think the targets is a little bit safer in case you know one gets sailed over his head or whatever it may be i'm always a fan of targets because late game if they're down, they're going to be trying to find the sideline. They're going to be sending targets his way. He's one of the best sideline catchers that I've seen in a while. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of good ones out there, but he's he's really good at it too. So I like the late game narrative of maybe him getting targeted a lot on the sideline. So that's another reason I like this play. I'm just creating narratives in my head. So if you don't agree with me, like I said, you don't have to take these, but um, that's just kind of what I'm feeling. So that's what I'm going to be taking. Uh, if you guys like those, then cool. But uh, that's going to cover it all for me. If you guys want to check out Daily Grind, this is the app right here. As you can see, I just typed in Deontay Johnson. I was able just to quickly refresh it and it pulled up the targets. And uh, you can check all the odds makers right here. And uh, you can check all the different lines that you can find for him on like all the different props. So it's really cool. Uh, if you want to take those away, you can check it out and look at all the top plays right here on Daily Grind. There's a whole bunch for CS2. I just posted a really, really good CS2 two men in the discord that i'm stoked about we've been hitting on those a lot lately so excited to get into all of those but um yeah if you want to check that out use the link in the description below and they'll give you 25 percent off your first purchase so whether you want to lock it in for a month three months or a year 
or whatever fits your needs you can do that and they'll give you 25 percent off if you use code backdoors so definitely go check that out i should not have ate dinner before this video i cannot breathe right now <laughs> but uh yeah that's gonna do it for me also there's chalkboard uh, if you want to check out chalkboard there's a link in the description for that as well if you use code backdoor at checkout they'll give you a 100 percent deposit match and a free play to help you cash your first slip they're another dfs platform like prize picks but they're more like parlay play because they have so many different alt lines that you can cover um, and get really good deals over there and they run six specials a day per sport so there'll be like six for nfl tomorrow six for nba uh probably six for nhl like it's it's really stacked over there so go check them out they're mobile only though but yeah use code backdoor to get that 100 percent deposit match and that's going to cover it for me i'm going to catch my breath now <laughs> <laughs> all right well if you want to come join our discord yeah jordy has been on a heater with the two mans lately um yeah you've just been stacking lately man <laughs> that's been Trying. nice <laughs> um but yeah, if you want to come join us, you can go with the Parlay Play promo that we're running. Uh, or if you want to just jump right in, um, you just go through Patreon, uh, which is in the description of the video. Uh, that manages our subscription. So you just sign up there and then you go into the settings. You uh, There's a connected apps option in the menu bar. And then you just connect your Discord right there. So it's really simple to do. If you do that, make sure you hop in the community chat. We'd love to hear from you and just kind of show you around, welcome you to the family. Um, but yeah, and then if you want to follow us on X, uh, X, Instagram, and TikTok, uh, we're all, we're on all of those. It's just at Backdoor FS. You can follow us. Uh, we post bonus content on there. You can follow me, Jordy, Moose. Uh, Moose is our other analyst. It's in our Discord. He's great with two man plays as well. Um, but yeah, we're all of our handles are in the description. If you want to just say what's up or see some of the plays we're posting on social media, um, go follow us on there. And yeah, that covers everything. Don't forget, no NBA video tonight uh, because, yeah, the small slate, we're just going to get uh, a video out early in the morning. Um, but we appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I, I know you are too. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm, ready for, I'm ready for bed. So we appreciate you guys tuning in uh, and uh, enjoy this NFL slate. And we'll catch you in tomorrow's NBA video. Good luck, guys.